How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is this uh, Brute, uh, which is the Briggs & Stratton brand uh, lawnmower. Uh, a customer brought it in saying it uh, won't start and uh, we're going to dive into this one and see if we can't fix it for him. Alright guys, so uh, no start, that's a pretty common thing that I deal with uh, this time of the year in the spring. So we're just going to go through and uh, kind of troubleshoot, see if we can't figure this one out. First thing I'm going to do is check to see if there's any oil. Okay, there is definitely some oil in there. Check the fuel. Give it a bit of a smell, it doesn't smell bad or old. It's full. The uh, only information the guy told me was that he did put fresh fuel in it this year but he left some old fuel in it over the last year he seems to think that the spark plug is the problem he said he tried to find a new spark plug and he couldn't uh, source one uh, so this is pretty dirty pretty dusty so I don't think the air filter is gonna cause is not that bad to such that it won't fire this thing up it won't start but um, it looks pretty dusty even with that air like there's dust all in there I don't know how this guy I think he might have ran it without the air filter there's no way the dust would get in there like that so I'm suspecting a bad carburetor but we're gonna go through and see uh, what's going on here so first thing I'm going to do is try and uh, start this thing up and see if we uh, can get it started at all. It's got, it's got auto choke. Looks like the spark plug's in and the wire's on. starting he's got a problem with the pull rope as well uh, the poles I think it's the poles on the starter system are not engaging or something uh, until you pull it out quite a ways I'm gonna spray uh, you can't see probably but there the choke valve is closed which is a good sign that means chokes not stuck open but I'm gonna spray some <laughs> carb cleaner right directly into the throat of the carburetor I'm gonna tilt it up a little bit here and then we're gonna go ahead and see if it will start now Did like look like it was wanting to try and fire, but <laughs> all right, so it's uh, it's definitely got spark. So it didn't need a spark plug. As I suspected, it's a dirty carburetor. So we're gonna take you up on the bench and show you how to clean one of these uh, plastic style Briggs carburetors. All right guys, I got you up on my lawnmower lift here now. We're just gonna dive into this carb. Just take that air uh, filter cover off, take your air filter out. And then you've got four bolts here. You got two eight millimeter bolts on the side, two seven millimeter bolts in the middle. Just take those guys off. Then this guy should come right off. There, there's a hose attached to the back side uh, to this guy right here. Pull that off. 
Now, to get better access to all this stuff, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start taking some of this other stuff off as well. Um, plus, he's got an issue with his recoil here. So, all right, so there's two T27 uh, Torx screws. So after you take out these two uh, screws here, you got to take off this top cover, and then there's a little clip right here that you have to, a little tab you got to push push and then lift it off here there here's your tab right there so next thing we get out of the way is this uh, fuel tank here um, up and underneath here I'm just gonna put a, a fuel line clamp so we don't have too much fuel drippage and then there's a uh, a few uh, yeah. hose clamp here. Now I'm just gonna try and work this hose off here. And it's being a little finicky, so. All right, so I'm just gonna use my uh, homemade um, fuel line removal tool. Uh, just stick it in there and try pry that fuel line off. Try not to damage the plastic carburetor in the process. Wow, this one's really sticky. I think I'm going to try and remove the fuel tank first. Uh, first, I got to take off this recoil. All right, so well, looks like. Tape mill again, or maybe a little bigger. Oh. All right, I'll work on that recoil after. And then this fuel tank just slides up. And now this is going to give me a little more, a little less access for you guys, a little more access, I guess, for me. See if I can move you around here. Yeah, this one's being a little bit finicky. There we go. And now we're into the carburetor here. So this this carburetor, it's got a auto choke system here coming over from the muffler, which heats up and then uh, moves this rod across, which then opens up this valve in the front and opens up the choke. Okay, and then spring loaded back to the to the uh, on position. So. We're going to have to remove this carburetor and it's just sort of pressure fit on like so and now we're going to have to try and rotate it try and get all these linkages off here so we'll try and get this choke one off first and just rotate it the 90 degree Z bend and then this one is also just a 90 degree Z bend the opposite direction here. And that's it, we got our carb off. So I'll take you over to the bench and uh, I'm gonna clean this up first with the uh, paintbrush and some gas on the outside, blow it off, and then we'll take it over to the bench and, and uh, open it up and clean it up. All right, so I got you up on the bench here. I we're just gonna crack into this thing. This thing was so dirty that uh, just spreading um, my fuel around on that thing, it actually was just turned into mud. So these are two eight millimeter, or sorry, seven millimeter screws. And then usually you got to get a screwdriver in here to get this bowl off. It's pretty 
on there pretty tight. So what you can do is kind of underneath right in this area just try and pry pry it up. I might need a bigger screwdriver. And just pry it up on both sides here. Well, just one side in this case. By the looks of things, there's a lot of water in this carburetor. Yeah, quite a bit of water in there. Looks mostly water, actually. <laughs> All right. So the biggest culprit with these things is uh, your your jetting system right here. So this actually this plastic piece comes out. You just gotta stick a small screwdriver in there and kind of gently pry this out because again this is all plastic. And there we go. <clears throat> All right, so the biggest culprits with these guys is uh, this orifice right here, and then these, all of these passageways, okay? Now, a lot of this looks pretty clear, actually, if I'm looking at it. So what I think maybe was our culprit was there is a lot of water in the fuel. So I'm gonna dump out his fuel tank and uh, replace it with some fresh fuel anyways. But what you're gonna need to do here, if yours is clogged up, just get yourself a little piece of wire, either a bread tie or uh, a piece of wire from a wire brush or wire wheel and start sticking it in this hole till it's nice and clear. Okay, and just kind of do that with all of the all these little ports. Okay, now this further comes apart actually. There's really usually no need to pull it apart anymore, but just to show you. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't really want to damage it, just kind of showing you, but. Anyways, these two pieces come apart. So then all I'm going to do is. Uh, spray in here and spray in these holes with some uh, some carb spray okay you can see it coming out the end here okay now I'm gonna rinse this off in some fuel because I don't want that that carb spray kind of uh, swelling up these uh, these gaskets. All right, guys. So there's a lot of construction going on in my neighborhood. I'm gonna to have to cut this video fairly uh, short here now. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'll just talk you through what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a, my pressure gauge, uh, my pressurization tool here, the Mighty Vac. I'm gonna 
hook that up make sure that the uh, needle and seat is good if it is good just going to kind of spray this all out real quick with some carb spray blow it with some air put it all back together i'll get it back on the machine and uh and then i'll show you whether or not this uh this fix worked or not all right guys i'm going to give you a quick update on what i've done i had to close the garage door because they are literally sawing the sidewalk outside my house here so um I took the tank off, I flushed it out uh, with some uh, good gas and uh, cleaned all that out. I put the carburetor all back on. I lubricated the pull start, put the hood back on. Uh, the pull start works now and engages every time you pull it. I have not put on the air uh, filter housing yet um, and I have not put on this little cover plate up top. Uh, so basically I'm going to take you back outside and uh, again I apologize for all the noise that's going to be going on but we're going to fire this thing up I'm going to put some fresh gas in it and we're going to fire this thing up and uh, show you our handiwork all right guys so I got some fresh fuel in there and uh, let's see if it'll fire up All right, guys, so there you have it. It's just a uh, car problem, as I suspected. And um, it does have an issue with the uh, self propel actually staying engaged. It works, it stays engaged, though. Uh, again, sorry for the, uh, for the uh, noise. As you can see, they're actually, uh, they're not redoing the sidewalks. They're trenching some fiber optic cable for, uh, for um, our internet and uh, TV services in our neighborhood, so. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully it was informative, um, and uh, if you like the content, please smash the like button, and um, one other thing I wanted to mention as well, I did test uh, with my pressure gauge there on the carburetor, so the needle and seat was good. I do have a video showing how to do that. Uh, if you want, you can click a link uh, in the top right corner here now, and um, there's also a video I have for... Uh, how to lubricate one of the uh, starter recoils so i'll link to those as well so thanks guys for uh, joining me and until the next project take care